OK, so let's say we have the side of a square is increasing at a rate of 40 centimetres per second. OK, so as we read through connected rates of change problems, uh, I'm going to pause whenever I get to an interesting thing that I want to write down. And that is the first thing that will be useful to write down. We've got 40 centimetres per second, OK, as a rate. Now, in order to think of this side of the square, right, if I draw a square, here is the square, and it has, let's say, side length of x, then I can say that as this is a length, this is time, I can say that dx by dt will be 40. OK, if I represent the side length as x, and I represent time using t, this is telling me precisely, if you look at the units, what rate of change I'm actually considering. Now, it's asking, find the rate at which the area of the square is increasing when the side of the square is 20 centimetres. So I want the area, so the rate at which the area is changing with respect to time. That's what I want, OK? The dA by dt. Now, the thing is that um, there's pieces that I don't know yet. And really, once I know what one I'm looking for, what rate of change I'm looking for, I want to set up the chain rule. So the chain rule is governed by the product of two rates of change. I'm going to build up these two by first placing in the dA and the dt. OK, so dA by dt, dA goes there, dt goes there. The other variable that I have is dx, so that will go there and there. OK? Now, I know what dx by dt is. I've got it there. That's one part of the puzzle. But I don't have dA by dx. Now, in order to get that, I need to think what the problem is asking. I've got a square. The sides of the square are increasing. OK? So I'm looking at the area of the square, and the area of a square is given by a equals x squared, in this case. So I can work out dA by dx. That will be 2x. So dA by dt will be 2x times dx by dt, which is 40. So that's 80x. So that is the rate at which the area is changing with respect to time. I want to know it specifically when the side length is 20. So dA by dt, when x is 20, is equal to 80 times 20, which is 1. 1,600, and I want to put in the units as well. So the fact that this is area and time, this will be centimetres squared, because we're in centimetres, so centimetres squared per second. So the area is increasing at a rate of 1,600 square centimetres per second.